good morning everyone hey i am going to be giving you another video that has been highly requested today it is a behind the scenes of a tweet along i think it's interesting that all of you find it so interesting but i think you're going to be surprised at how very low-key and chill that it actually is So it's going to be a good day. We are riding with Deputy Sears, who you guys have seen recently. Whenever it comes to the social media coordinators doing tweet alongs, it's a little bit different. So every, each of us is different. I normally pack my lunch and snacks all day long because also you never know if you're going to get a lunch. So normally on tweet alongs, a lot of the times deputies don't often, they're not guaranteed a lunch. Uh, we, they'd always like to get a lunch, but sometimes because of call volume, that doesn't happen. So with a tweet on, you really never know how your day is going to go. So I always made sure to bring my lunch just in case, because I, I eat a lot. I get very hungry very often. I, I don't know, but it's also, I just feel like it makes it easier on them for them to not have to worry about trying to find something that I can eat. I, I just, I would try to be considerate. Um, and also, most of our deputies bring their own foods as well, too, for the most part, because they know that this is a part of the job. But we will see most tweet-alongs last about seven hours, and typically they start on time. You never know. Like, sometimes we'll get to an office where we're, or a meeting location, and our deputy has been, you know, called away to a call and couldn't wait for us to get there or they're still on the call from beforehand and they can't leave. Um, so that's why a lot of times you see a slight pause because there's no, in law enforcement, there's no guarantee that, you know, it's, it's just like trying to get certain people to come into the office for certain things. You never know how it's going to be in the community. So, but we're just very appreciative for the opportunity to show all of you what it's like in the day of a deputy. Some days we get a ton of calls, some days, we, it's storming and we get one call and they do paperwork all day long, all day long. Some days it's back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Today's tweet along is actually not going to start on time. Whenever you guys see this, you'll see the tweet along happen previously. Um, and it was with Deputy Sears, but he was actually called out on a priority one emergency call. So that's why there's actually a slight delay in the start of today's tweet along. You never know what's going on behind the scenes versus what we just post, you know? So that is the situation today, but never impatient. We've finally been picked up. Our chariot has arrived. It's Deputy Nick Sears, who's the only one that you're really gonna see today because like I said, the identity of our social media coordinator will remain a mystery. Dun, dun, dun. Smoke, fog, mystery stuff. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, guys, I'm in the back seat. They are taking the intro video on the other side of this car. Oh, cozy. We actually get to, um, we're riding in the Cageless Cruiser, which is normally used for, I believe it might be used for live PD, but it's a Cageless vehicle, so there's no transporting of anyone in the back of this car. So if that happens today, another unit will be called to assist with that because I get this whole road to myself. It's like when you're on the airplane and it's nobody like else is, exactly, I'm being chauffeured around. It would be even Sorry. better, guys, if I didn't get car sick. So just to break down a couple of things for all of you to let you in on some of the secrets, a tweet along, it's just two individuals, social media coordinator and the deputy that we are following. It's just a phone switching through all platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat throughout the day, answering your questions, shooting videos, and taking pictures. That's what it is. If they're in the front seat, it's almost like 
think James Corden on YouTube with carpool karaoke, but less singing. Well, on my tweet alongs, there's a lot of singing, but I don't really, I'm never allowed to post those videos. It's just for fun. So um, he said you need me to go trespass someone that lives in Water's Edge. On Tweet Alongs, we do not show any sort of sensitive information. We do not show juveniles. Um, if it's in relation to a call, unless you know it's something cute and sweet and a parent agrees upon it. And anything that's an invest, um, that it's still being worked, but deputies or whomever's working the case doesn't want it pushed out to the public because you never know who watches our channel. Um, but that's pretty much it. Everything else you see, the downtime, the, the paperwork, the eating in the car, lunch if you get it. Give my dad a call if I check on it. <sighs> Talked to him throughout the day. It makes me very happy. deputies getting routed to a call, pulled off of a call when they're almost at their designation, put on another call, and it's not because of any issue with dispatch, it's just the call volume and priority level of the calls that are coming in. So there hasn't been a lot of footage of the actual calls of what we're going to and whatnot because you're seeing that on the tweet along or you can go back and look through our social media feeds. Um, to find the tweet along from today, but. I hope that you guys got to enjoy just a little bit of the behind the scenes of what you saw for a tweet along. It's a way for you guys to interact and to see a behind the scenes look and to communicate more so. So, Pops is great, Live PD is great, but actually getting to interact just to use technology and social media to do so, that's an actual incredible, that, that's really, I say this in every video, I say something stinking cool, but tweet-alongs are stinking cool. So do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.